Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Tokyo Ghoul Rebirth. Now, in today's episode, what I want to do is I want to cover a little bit more on the game. Uh, so, I have a fully maxed out team now uh, over here on Rebirth. I've been doing a lot of work in my own free time. Turns out that Arima at 5 out of 10 can carry you through the entire Arata Boys level by himself. And so now he's sitting at 10 out of 10. Now, my Takizawa is sitting at 10 out of 10, and he's also at 41%. Don't know why I gave the extra one, but you know what? He deserves it. He needs one more and he'll be the truth. Uh, we have Shirazu at 10 out of 10. And we have Dollhouse Juzo at 10 out of 10. And so the bet that I made previously where I was like, I'm going to do a big banner summon if I don't get it is, I guess, low key. Not going to happen. However, we have bigger fish to fry. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and hop into this and try and fight against the... The fancy old enemy we call Eto Owl. Now, I did want to equip Premium Heisei behind this right here, and we're just going to hop into it. I only have about a minute left before it goes away, so I wanted to get through this. All throughout yesterday, I was trying to get a dispatch where I got the Tsukiyama, and I was trying to get this boss fight at the same time. I currently have it, so I want to rush into this and just kind of get it done. But I feel like this is going to be a... A fancy old fun time video uh, and we're actually just gonna go ahead and get as much DPS done as possible now the main issue with my team right now is that I do have two awakening units meaning that my first turn on most boss fights don't go as well as I want them to because I don't really have a good sense of breaking however I make up for it in the ability to double swap Arima on the first turn because I can go into high say bring in Arima again. Now, he isn't at 100%. He doesn't actually have his buff just yet. Otherwise, I would pop him unawakened in the state. However, instead, he goes ahead and awakens on the first turn, and I'll be good to go for the rest of this. Now, I do feel as if if I did have my Arima upgraded more, and I did have his like stimulant level upgraded to 100%, I would be using him unawakened almost constantly. It's just the issue that I don't really have that to fill my team just yet. Uh, here, I'm just going to try to get some charge on Takizawa here. Uh, one, two, three, four, bop. We'll do one, and then we'll do this. We don't get, we don't get the skill this turn, unfortunately, but we'll be good to go next turn. Most of this turn was just trying to set up the basis for the rest of this level. Um, because most of what's going to end up happening is building up combo beyond this. So, we're good to go now. Um... I say I'm probably not going to end up using you right now because I have some bigger fish to generally fry. Now, the cool thing about Arima is you can use them at any time during a combo and be fine as long as they have over two durability. And so even when they're not ready to get hit super hard, they'll still get hit pretty hard even when they're unawake or unbroken. So that's always a nice time. Uh... I'm probably not going to try to go for Shirazu's ability. What I kind of... I want to shoot for... Arima getting the break. But in order to guarantee that, I would need to make sure they have less than 2 durability at the end of his combo. Which she does. Meaning... See, I think that this is what the, the kind of skill barrier is on using premium... Or uh, anniversary Arima. You have to try to plan your combos around getting his break bonus, which is the two times. However, he only does two durability damage in total. And so when you try to combine that with characters like Black Reaper, Takizawa, and stuff like that, where they do like 10 plus durability all at once, it does hurt quite a bit. Um, but I've kind of found my way to traverse that in trying to get the entire combo done and mostly just using his skill as much as possible during his rotations. It just kind of works really well for getting everything done. Honestly, so people have been asking quite commonly and often, which one's the better of the batch between the two, Arima or Kaneki? Now, upon playing with them both and trying them both out, I would genuinely say Arima is the better of the two. Uh, Kaneki does a very different purpose, but inside the game right now, we don't really need that debuff state. Like it, it's helpful, obviously, on raids like this, for example. But it doesn't, it's not as important as the 4.5 times attack boost that Arima has by himself and the amount of damage that he does just in his own casual free time. 
He just does so much overwhelming work on your squad that he's... He's mind-blowingly good. He was able to carry me through Arata Boys by himself with no problems. Also, we're, we're double paralyzed here. That shit kind of sucks a wee bit. Um, I wouldn't mind swapping in high save. We can actually guarantee a break this turn with it. Uh, we're gonna do it. It's it, it's worth it's worth the trial because I do think that getting some extra skills off this turn is gonna be important. Also, being double paralyzed sucks just so much. So I want to try to get as much work done as possible while I am. Go for it. It also helped quite a bit that before I got Arima's 10 out of 10 skill, I also got Shirazu's break bonus, so I was trying to use them in conjunction together. Uh, in the Arata Boys level, they are indispensably good. Uh, just in, in the combination of the two, you can get Arima to do so much damage continuously, and Shirazu's a guaranteed break on either Shinohara or uh, Iwao on the last turn, no matter what. It's some good shit. I... I am feeling less confident now that I see that you've killed my Shirazu and swapped in my absolute hero. Well, uh, I guess I'm going to pop off my buff here. Let's see how this goes. Now, the reason why I have Heisei and uh, Anniversary Arima in the same row is because the buff for Arima does get... or. Arima replaces the buff when he uses his skill every time because he gets a 2.25 times attack bonus whenever he uses it. Now, what that means is the buff that Heisei gives off at 1.75 times would only affect him previous to using a skill, and the skill would be a bigger bonus anyway. So if you use Heisei behind him, you can actually get some more charge every single turn with it, which is just so nice. It is so pleasant. I have a problem. I'm two hits away from getting a break this turn. Well, it appears that my ass is going to become grass today. Rest in peace. Now, Eto Owl, obviously she is a boss fight right now inside this version of the game. She is a boss fight on rebirth. I have a strong feeling she'll end up getting released sometime soon. Um, it just makes sense to me that they'll end up dropping her. See, the, the, the best case scenario right now, uh, in, in my mind, is they drop her next Tuesday when the war ends. Because we're going to get a maintenance on this Tuesday. Uh, and I don't know if we're going to be getting anything new from it. I imagine Fest Psycho's in the pipeline somehow, but who knows, honestly. Um, but Eto, I can say with almost complete confidence that she'll be here by the end of the war. The issue is she is less worth it now that Arima does exist. Uh, but she's still a super fun unit to play with in general. And I I want to try them out together at one point with Arima and Eto and try and compare them. Because naturally, over on JP, I'm close to getting Arima because I'm on my sixth step so far. And I might end up going for grabbing the final two steps to get Arima over on that account. I do find it kind of cool that I have Arima on this account and Kaneki on the other one. But at the same time, I think that JP is the one I care about the most. So I kind of do want to get Arima over there low-key, no matter what. Uh, however, that is the end of the raid. The fact that Arima by himself can tank the last turn of like a tier 3 soul raid is pretty crazy within itself. And that's just because he's boosted and he's elite right now. But he's still... He's a... He's a good he's a good dude. And if he was working alongside the Kaneki instead of Shirazu or something, he would be even better. However, I'll take that 18 million damage, thank you. Now I did end up already going for the clown damage before. I got to 100 million with Arima already. Uh he is fucking crazy for the clown damage. And when you end up having one of the dark clown spawn, I don't think either of these are dark. I think they're I think it's green and then red. Yeah, okay. Um, when the Dark One spawns, he's able to do it and get 100 million without even having a fucking vial on. It's crazy. It's super fun. However, here's what we're going to do for the rest of this. We're going to go ahead and do... So I wanted to do Outbreak... Is it 8? It is 8. So I wanted to do a Salty Run Back on the Tsukiyama quest. I have not played it since I last played it on these videos. However, I wanted to get this shit done. I wanted to mop up this man. I wanted to put him over inside the corner and forget about him forever. I think we are good to go. 
And I think this revenge is going to go really well. Now, I, I do notice right now that my lighting is kind of fucked up because of my... My window is open, but unfortunately, I, I need some natural lighting right now, you know? Sometimes you just gotta dream about it. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Sometimes you just gotta get that sweet-ass fucking 9.20 a.m. good times. However, let's go ahead and get this done. Now, the primary focus right now is probably going to be... Hey, I should get a Remus charge as much as possible. So, we're gonna do that. And I think that is going to be fairly effective for what we want to do today. Now we'll swipe down. I don't know if 12 AP is enough to get his full charge. Uh, he usually sits at 17 AP in total, I believe. So he does go up to 20 because the elite. I don't think it's enough to boost him to get a skill the first turn, though. Yeah, no. Uh, hey, hi say. He's a guaranteed break on most first turns, at least. Good stuff. And we're going to try to get Sukiyama. Tsukiyama. Takizawa's skill off here as well. So I feel like that's going to do the most... Never mind. I guess we're not going to use the Takizawa. Well, hey. You guys can tank better than you did before, right? What? I worked on you so hard! How dare you die to this man on the first turn? Takizawa. I tried my hardest for you. Here, I'm just going to try and get Heisei's thing off here. Oh. Uh... We'll do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I want to get Shirazu's charge ready, because if we end up getting his skill off after Arima, we're guaranteed to win this turn, no matter what. Granted, Arima may just be a cheat code for that anyway, because, uh, slam. Oh, wow, actually did a lot less than I expected. Good on you. Proud of you, dude. However, how about round two? This won't end up breaking. It killed. Cool. We're good to go. And I did finish with the skill, and so I get the final thing here as well. Good stuff. And goodbye to the Sukiyama that... Oh, what was it? Goodbye to the Sukiyama who hated on me, I, I think was the quote from the, the, the famous hero that we doth call Deforni. Woo. Uh, and before we end this episode... Uh, I, if you can't tell, I am actually getting really sick, so I'm not sure how much video stuff I'm going to be able to put out in the future. So while we're at this, and before I get fully sick and die, I wanted to do one more run. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Whew. Uh, I want to do one more run here. I wanted to fight the Arata Boy level with my current team and kind of show things off. Now, for the Arata Boys, I have realized that I can get to an exact tier that I need. However, in order to do it, I can't use high safe for it. And so I have to put my dollhouse Juzo. Uh, we don't have any blues to counter inside this, nor any ghouls. The change is the extra 2 AP from dollhouse Juzo versus the high say. So I needed a lot for trying to get my combos done every single turn to one turn each one of the phases. Let's go ahead and pop into this. Uh, so first and foremost, what I've been doing for my combos, I've been grinding this a lot in my free time on like bus trips and stuff. Uh, and what I usually do, I go all in with, with our Reem on the first turn, he gets the break, uh, and I try and go for Shirazu to get his charge up to get as much charge as possible, and then I kill with Arima to get the extra charge on him as well. Takizawa is mostly here to get some extra damage toward the end of the quest, but he's not really the important one here. His 12 AP goes mostly toward charging other people's work. And I mean, it's not a bad thing, it is just a symptom of the times, you know? Uh, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't... I'm going to have to try and push quite a bit to get Shirazu's charge up here. Uh, I might have to do a double swap with Arima in this instance. Uh, I am going to... Actually, I've been fucking up this combo this whole time. Uh, so we have Dollhouse Juzo got the break here. We'll get the charge on Juzo. We'll do this. We'll get the charge here. I'm going to swap in Arima and get his charge ready, because this way, on the final wave, we're good to go. We're completely swept up, we're good to go, we have a double swap ready, and we're just going to easily one-turn all of this. Who even needs to get hit by the enemy team? Let's be honest here. Alright, so Arima. Get that big ol' swing in. You know, go for it. Do like the gone. Freak it up. We're good to go. I'm going to try to get as much charge as possible over on our boy. 
I don't really need to... I'm realizing now I don't actually get, need to get any charge on our other heroes here before this. It's not a huge deal. It's, it's okay. So we're good to go there. We pop off the Shirazu skill to get the break guaranteed. And then Arima's able to get some more mop-up work in. And God knows he's going to mop it all fucking day. All it takes is one skill, and you will be its first victim. I don't know how that makes sense, because you just killed both Hachikawa, uh, or I guess not Hachikawa. You killed Eto, you killed Tsukiyama, you killed both those boys, you killed the Mogen. All of those were the first victims, Arima. But I get what you're trying to do. And I do think we're good to go for right now. Either way, grinding has become so much easier over here on Global, and now my dispatches have given back like six, 600,000 or so in total from each of the different ones. So it's gotten a lot easier, and I'm glad I ended up putting this work over here on Global. Now I do have some plans for the future of this, and I do have some things in the pipe work to kind of make it a little bit more interesting over here on Global. Uh, it is going to be a replacement to the challenge that I had before uh, with the 500 Haka, and I do have some things in the pipe work right now to get that done. However, that's going to be most of what I'm doing. They also sent out a reminder here with another instance of the event being like, you should grind conflict. You should grind conflict. You should do the thing. I'm currently sitting at roughly about 800. I guess it's, what was the exact number again? It was like at the top here. 781. I'm going to get this done today and finish this off. However, remember to get this done because you do get a lot of really good stuff off of it. Like the next rewards at 900 is three stimulants. There's four stimulants at the bottom there, five stimulants there. So in total, that is, math is hard, 12 stimulants in total, which is almost an entire level, an entire dupe. So I would say try and push through this entirely. Super worth it and good to go. However, this is going to the end of me for today. This video is going up on the day that is Monday, meaning tonight's maintenance. Hopefully it's going to be something good. God knows it's really important. Also, remember to get your strikes done. The strikes have pretty good rewards. I don't know if it's over here on Global. I remember that strikes had great rewards over on JP. It has it on Global as well. You get Ayatos off of it to get more dupes of him to finish him off. So I would say run those as much as you can today because that's very important. However, that's the end of this episode. Bye for now, everybody. Take it easy and I'll see you guys next time.